Hello. Today I wanted to talk about the work I've been doing for Korean and the Hangu alphabet, which you should be able to see on the screen. What I've been doing is trying to learn to write and memorize the words. Korean is a phonic alphabet, so you sound out the letters of the alphabet in order to make the sound of the word. So, like in English, you would have doctor, and you sound it out with the D, the O, the C, etc. Now, what I've been trying to do is memorize the words and write them down in Korean, in the alphabet. What I'm doing here is the words that my teacher gave me, and I'm writing them out, which you probably can't see very well in this video. But what I have is the English translation, the Korean word, and then in grayscale, the Korean word a multitude of time that allows me to trace over it. I took this from when I was working with Chinese, where the sound of the character and the actual character itself are not necessarily related in any way. But with Korean, it is related and you can sound it out. But because I need to practice writing the alphabet, I've done this. <coughs> So here you can see me writing out each of the words in order to try and memorize the word so that I can write it again at will. Now, this also means that I need to be able to pronounce the word. So while I'm doing a voice over here when I'm writing, I'm actually saying the word in Korean as I'm writing it to try and reinforce the sound as well as the writing in my head. Now another exercise that I have been doing is this one, and this is basically an English sentence, and I have to reproduce the sentence in Korean with Korean writing. I do apologize for the poor display, and it's difficult to see, but trust me, that is a Korean. Um, so here the exercise is to remember actually the word with no help from a grayscale uh, setting to help me. So I'm basically freehanding this, and hence the long pause here as I try and remember to how to spell the word that I need to spell to make the sentence. Now this is mostly from a grammatical point of view because Korean grammar and English grammar are different. Korean is a subject, object, verb and English is a subject, verb, object. So there's some differences when you're writing out the sentences and this is just practice really for me for writing the alphabet, practicing the grammar points uh, and just generally remembering how to write the words. So next I want to walk you through how I did this exercise. So I have taken a list of Korean words and I'll show you how to do a small sample. Uh, you can do this with Chinese as well. This is how I learned this method. I was doing it with the Hanza Chinese. So here you, I have a, a selection of Korean words down in the first column A and in column B I have the English translation and in this example it actually has some um, uh, Japanese, uh, Korean, uh, Chinese characters as well. Uh, but this is what I want to get to. So you can see here I've got the word in English, then the Korean word, and then in grayscale all along there, um, the Korean word repeated. So to do this, you can use any spreadsheet system. I'm using LibreOffice for this, just to show you. So I'll copy the first 10 um, words. And then you just want to start a new file and then you just paste it in. Now here I'm going to paste it over slightly because I want the English translation in the first column. So I just cut and paste that. Now all you have to do then is to select the Korean words and copy them over. So here I, I just want to make a blank uh, space at the top, so I'm just moving it down slightly. But you select all of the Korean words, or if you were doing Chinese, Chinese, or Arabic, or whatever, and you 
move them over to the number of times that you want to practice. So the first column of Korean, I'm leaving that in dark color because I want to be able to see how it's written normally and I won't be writing over that one. But you just pick a gray scale for your font. So you just change the font color to gray, light gray, and you can see, well, in this poorly shot uh, video, it's, it's basically gone blank. Um, but all you need to do then is to set up the print area and then go to your sheets, um, your formatting for the page. Uh, I like to make it landscape. And then I, I, I want it to hold the columns the same width of the page. So find that on your um, spreadsheet program and then fit the width to the page. I don't care about the height, just the width. And then if you were to print it, you would see that um, it fits on the page and you can do as many words as you want. You can, because you haven't selected height, you can do 200,000 pages if you want to. It doesn't make any difference. Now, when I look at this, I can see that this is gonna to be too small for writing. So all I'm gonna do is just fix that by selecting the um, Korean and then I'm just going to change the font so that it's bigger, big enough to write on. So you might need to do a couple of test prints of this so that you see how big it is in the end and if it's uh, sufficiently large enough for you to write over. Because if it's too small, it just becomes a problem. Um, so just change the font size and I'm changing this to about 18 or so, or 20 in the end and then select that uh, and make it as you know visible to for all of it now remember because you made it fit the width of the page uh, it will fit the width so it, you don't need to worry about um, about setting the print area again so even though I've expanded it here you can see that it still fits it to the the size of the page but also it'll it's big enough now that I can print that without any difficulty. So that's how I'm doing the grayscale like this. This is exactly the thing you saw earlier and these are the, the, the vocabulary that I'm learning to write and practicing at the moment, um, which my tutor has given me. But now I wanna show you how I do the other exercise, you know, the one where I do grammar. Now this one is more complicated and you may not be able to do this without a Unix machine. It might be slightly difficult. But if I show you here, what I've got is a Korean practice file and it's just a list of sentences that I, that I want to write in Korean. So this I randomly generated using Excel to do this uh, as well. But what I've done here is I've got an ARC program which prints out a number of the line number. It prints out the string, which is what you're seeing there, that English sentence. It prints out a little uh, colon mark and then a tab and then a lot of uh, underscore characters and then a couple of new lines. And then it puts that into a column by looking for the um, colon and then columnizing it. So you can see uh, if I take away the column part um, it will it will come up a bit f funky looking, um, <laughs> but this is the command itself, and I'll I'll put that on the screen later uh, in larger font, or I'll put it in the comments so that you can see it. You can probably do this in in Windows, but I have no clue uh, how you would do it, basically. But here I can just send this straight to the printer for this command or I can pipe it to a file and then when you see this new file it will be what you saw on the screen before. Now the column command is the thing that's actually aligning the um, this, this, this sort of lines. Um, yeah here's the here's the command. So it's awk and then you're printing a digit and then the string and then the tab uh, that's appearing in the file. But 
you see where I've put that semicolon in. This, this is the string, but there's no semicolon in that file. That's because the column command looks for that and and it uses it to set up the column, but it removes the the um, column denominator or, or indicator. So that's basically how I'm doing it and creating these files and exercises for myself. If it's not clear enough or you need more detail, just mention in the comments and I'll try and do an improved version of this. But it just experiment around. It's relatively straightforward and easy to do. Uh, I appreciate you listening. I hope you enjoyed it. I really like you to subscribe and ring the bell if you uh, if you want to see more of this type of content. But otherwise, uh, we'll get back to the FAQ type video soon. And if you want to see something else, just let me know in the comments and I'll try and do my best to accommodate. All right, thank you very much.